So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Hey everybody, Clint Louie coming to us with five minutes from friendship. I want to talk to you today about something very serious. I want to talk to our young people about something very serious. Being sexually pure. Now, right now in the services of the church, we're going through a series of messages geared toward the young people. And we thank God for the youth of today. And we love you. We appreciate you. And we want you to know, young folks, whether you're teenagers or small children, we want you to know God has a plan for your lives. God has something for you. And part of that plan is a commitment to doing it God's way. God wants you to be sexually pure. Save it for marriage. Wait for marriage. Wait for marriage. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, y'all listen to this verse, marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. The Bible says the marriage bed is undefiled. In other words, undefiled is pure, sexually pure. God wants us to be committed to being sexually pure, sexually pure. Did you know, listen to this, uh, some statistics I found. 69% of Americans say that sex between an unmarried man and, un and an unmarried woman is morally acceptable. What? Morally acceptable? Not according to God's word, it's not. 42% believe that sex between teenagers is morally acceptable. 43% say that pornography is morally acceptable. Where, what has happened to our country when nearly one half of Americans say pornography is morally acceptable, whether you choose to do it or not, but you think it's okay for others to do if they want to? Where, where are we at? 70% of Americans support same-sex marriage. This is staggering. We live in an impure world. But God is calling you, young person. God is calling you, adult. God is calling me, every one of us, to being sexually pure. The bed is undefiled. Save it for marriage. Save it for marriage. Billy Graham. Everybody knows the name Billy Graham. Billy Graham had a great rule. You know what it was? It was something he adopted for his own life. He chose that he would never be alone with, some, with another woman who was not his wife. He would always have somebody nearby, somebody in the room, whatever, but he would never be alone with another woman who was not his wife. That was his way, his rule. You know why? Because he committed himself to being sexually pure. Now that doesn't mean that he thought that every woman he came across was some kind of Jezebel who had nothing but sex on her mind, some sex crazed woman, that every woman out there was like that. No, no, no. That was a rule as much for himself as for anybody else. You know why? Because the truth is, we never know what our flesh is capable of. And don't ever think that you can handle your own flesh. You can't. Neither can I. So he made a rule. Keep somebody nearby. You know what? That is a great rule to live by. Commit yourself to being sexually pure. This is a heart issue. This is a heart matter. Meaning you must make this commitment with God. And then you must beg God to help you. You must walk with God. Stay in the Bible. Stay in church. Stay right with your mother and father. Stay around God's people. And above all, keep a sweet, close walk with Jesus. And if you will keep your heart right with God, he'll help you be sexually pure in an impure world. Save it for marriage. Wait for marriage. And by the way, understand please, sex acts, sexual activity, sexual touching, sexual activity, all of that is included with the word sex. Save it for marriage. Save it for the bonds of marriage. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1 said, It is good for a man not to touch a woman. That intimate type touch. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Be sexually pure. Stay sexually pure. So I'm calling on our young folks, and I'm calling on myself. I'm calling on everybody else. Let's ask God to help us stay sexually pure. Wait for marriage, and you will be blessed. And be glad for committing your life to God in sexual purity. This is Clint Louie. Thank you for being with me. Have a great day.